This show will absolutely change your life. And why? Gary Spivey's been radio's number one psychic for over 20 years. The one-of-a-kind show, Tapping In with Gary Spivey, showcases all his spiritual gifts and talents, taking you on a spiritual journey, broadcasting weekly from wherever he is in the world. Welcome to Tapping In with Gary Spivey. Everybody. Welcome to Tapping In with Gary Spivey. I am Psychic Gary Spivey, and I'd like to thank you guys for just listening and viewing our show. We're, we're happy you're here, and uh, I'm, I'm so used to doing radio all over the place forever and ever that I'm always saying, I thank you for listening. Well, thank you for watching, and so I'm glad you're here. We're having a great time doing the show. This week, we've got a really special edition of Tapping In with Gary Spivey. We're right here in North Carolina, and I'd like to introduce my co-host. There's Travis. What's up? Travis Mead and Jason hey guys. Marty. How are you? Hey, guys. And so uh, now we've been running around all over the place. We were in down in the Gulf of Mexico, and I went out to this amazing energy vortex. And if you didn't see that show, uh, go to the archive shows and check it out. Because we went out, we did a meditation out in the Gulf of Mexico, which is a very special energy vortex that I like to go to. And then we were up in the mountains, uh, the last show, last week's show, we were up in the mountains of beautiful Ojai, California, uh, and again, at an energy vortex up in the mountains of this beautiful stream where we did a meditation. And this meditation was of gold, brought in the gold, brought in the abundance, and, uh, and all these vortexes that I'm taking you to really do change your energy, and if you change your energy, you change your life. But remember, this is a show that gives you spiritual solutions to your real life problems. Gary, give me a quick explanation of what spiritual solutions to your real life problems mean. Well, a lot of times, Travis, when when you get when you're going through something, when right. you have a problem, you have some drama with your your girlfriend or family member or your boss or I mean, everybody goes through stuff. I mean, we try to get from one end of our week to the other end of our week, and and the least junk you can go through uh, is certainly the best, you know. And, and so many times there's spiritual problems uh, that happen and there's dark energies. There could be dark uh, uh, vortexes as well as light vortexes. Uh, you can also have a, a, a vortex of dark. In other words, you could be uh, in an energy. Your home could actually be a dark vortex. And so you don't want that to be the case because then every time when somebody comes to your home, uh, including you, you're going to feel a little negative and you'll notice everybody's fighting and getting into arguments and not okay. So uh, energy matters. And we're going to show you guys how to fix your energy so you really live in a beautiful light, uh, heaven on earth existence all the time. Gary, I have an interesting email here. It's from Chris from Minneapolis, Minnesota. It says, I saw you in Minneapolis last year and you did a soul clearing. How often does this need to be repeated? I think I need another one. Let me explain the difference between um, a soul uh, or a soul disorder or a spirit disorder. So there's two. Yeah, you have there, your spirit is different than your soul. Your soul is like your spiritual DNA. Okay. Uh, that never changes. It's you, you, your soul is your spiritual DNA. Now, here's what you can do. Uh, you can ask God to help you. Uh, with with that and you can read my book it's uh, there's a whole chapter on this you can ask god to help change your soul uh, your spiritual dna to where your soul is more spiritual and so believe it or not this really does work and there's a whole chapter on that and uh, you can get that at garyspivey.com of course and um but the many times a person's spirit is the biggest problem and so uh, your spirit is what holds your mind your body and your soul together uh, your spirit is actually your aura. That's what the, the part around you that glows. This will sound a little crazy, but in, when I'm doing seminars, you'll see a hue of golden light bounce off my head. I mean, all you guys. I can see seen... it all the time. That's the only right. thing. I'm blind, yeah, but yeah, I can right. always see the hue. Super bright. Yeah. And yeah. So, so that's just the spiritual energy because I have a lot of spiritual gifts. That's uh, your spirit. Your aura is your spirit. Now, this is always a great idea. Now, you can ask God. Uh, every now and then, if you feel just beat up, and a lot of times these days, people are really getting beat up, and uh, and you guys are getting beat up at home, and, and, and it's like and you somehow don't really know what's messing with you, but you feel like something's, you know, kind of doing something to you that's not good. You can actually ask God for a new spirit, and so you ask your, your angel, you just say the word angel, and say the word God, try it. Angel, 
God. Angel, God. Okay, give me a new spirit, please. Give me a new spirit, please. Okay. Give me a new spirit, please. There we go. Now, as you guys got a new spirit, uh, my sinus is open. I feel very light. I feel very bright. My face is feeling warmer. My heart is feeling lighter. And these are the sensations I feel. So what are you guys feeling? The same thing? Yeah, real lightheaded. Real light. Yeah. See? Lightheaded. <laughs> my yeah. hands. The tingly? Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. And a little weird. Right? Yeah. And so, and your eyes, Jason, got real piercing bright. And really? so, I mean, like, show a close-up of his eyes. There, that's yeah. crazy. Look at that. The meds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Meds are kicking in. <laughs> no, actually, no, just you wouldn't look like that. So, I mean, if you go out to the bar looking like that, I mean, yeah. you'll actually be pretty lucky. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, right. Cool trick. <laughs> I'll but try to remember that. Remember, get a new spirit. And so, but, but if you do have a, uh, if you do get a new spirit, it makes a difference because your aura becomes brighter. Uh, and it's not like you need a new spirit every day, but sometimes you get beat up and you need that. Uh, when do you need it? How often do you need it? Well, it's not like we come with exact, you know, no human being came with an owner's manual or directions, unfortunately, uh, because every human being is, is different and every time is different. So sometimes you'll need a new spirit uh, and you'll know when you do. It's like you'll just get beat to death. And then it's a good idea to meditate. And in your meditation, you want to ask God for a new spirit. And that one little thing will make a big difference. Now, I want to talk about vortexes just for a minute. Uh, and for those of you who may not know what a vortex is. So, Jason, you've got on Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah I looked it up and it just talks it? about something I don't even understand that, you know, it relates to spiritual, spirituality in any ways. It says a whirling mass of water, especially one in which a force of suction operates as a whirlpool. Okay. Two. A whirling mass of air, especially one in the form of a visible column or spiral, is a tornado. Okay, and that's a vortex. Yeah. Okay, well, let me explain to you what a spiritual vortex is. See, a spiritual vortex is a, is a light, uh, uh, the light energy swirling clockwise. And so you always want your energy swirling clockwise around your head. Now, if you can see me, guys, and I'm doing my head and my hand above my head uh, and going clockwise. You want to even do this like as I'm doing it right now. And you'll notice you'll feel a little bit lighter, a little warmer. Your feet are tingly. Can you feel that? You guys feel that? You can you feel that, Travis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you a little lightheaded, yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah. And, and so and you'll even notice when you do that, sometimes you'll see your energy get a little blurry in the room, but you'll actually see the energy in the room go lighter. Now, the more light that's in the, in the room, the more light that's in the room, and you'll have less problems. Now, we're at my home here in uh, beautiful North Carolina. I love North Carolina. It's where I'm originally from. Uh, we're here at uh, um, my retreat center, my home, and uh, I created a lot of, uh, of uh, vortexes. And also I found some beautiful vortexes that were already here, uh, that were here uh, from the Native Americans. And we, we, we already shot this earlier in the week. And uh, it's really kind of amazing at the things that happen. And Jason gets a little spooked up. He gets scared of things a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's weird it's when a, you hear Indians singing and chanting and there's nobody out there. You know? I can't hear nothing. I just get to build a fire. <laughs> And, yeah, you're like you a know, pyro. Get that yelled at the whole time. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna set yourself on. Don't fire. use gas. Don't use gas. <laughs> he lights a fire with gasoline. Who lights a fire <laughs> fire with gasoline? This I guy. do. Idiot. You know, I'm an idiot. idiot. No, I'm professional. Yeah. He's Johnny yeah. Action. Yeah, Johnny Stunt. You're though. gonna light your hair on fire and mine. I mean, we're <laughs> in trouble. And so, but <laughs> never it, light a fire with gasoline, kids. Never. Never. Yeah, only yeah. idiots do that. Right. You set yourself on fire. It's really a bad idea. And so you, you don't want to do that. You want to use real kindling and, you know, that way. The Boy Scout way. So, Gary, we're here at your, like you said, your home and your spiritual retreat center. When do you have a spiritual retreat coming up or what? I it? do. I have a spiritual retreat coming up June 11th. And I hope you guys come and check it out. Uh, it's pretty amazing. When you hang out with me for like four days, uh, you're going to really, really experience a big change in you. Uh, I'm able to get rid of your dark energies, and I'm able to show you how to replace that with light energies. And when you do that, you'll notice your problems just fade away. Uh, it's pretty neat. You can also go back, and then you can help out your family members and your friends and your loved ones, and you can show them what you've learned here. And so we're going to have a great time. It starts June 11th. Hey, Gary, I just had a, a Facebook question come in, and they want to know, when did you first discover your first vortex? Oh, wow. Um, even as a kid, there was one place that I used to go to, uh, down on, uh, my grandmother's farm where I was raised, which I actually still own. And, uh, uh, this, this was a great little place I would go to in the woods. And, uh, it, it, it had a magic about it and it was, it was out on the, uh, the pond 
And uh, I could I could sit there and I could see um, the Native Americans walking around me. And of course, I thought it was my imagination in those days. But then later, I found out I was really seeing stuff. And uh, uh, but but I was able to really. I, I guess I didn't know it was a vortex, but I knew I felt better. And I could be upset or not okay, or I could get in trouble with my mom or something. And I would go down there and I would hang out in this little spot by the pond and I would feel this magic. And so that was a vortex, I guess. Mm. And now, of course, I go there and I see Native Americans all around this pond in the woods. And it's more than really a pond in the woods. It's what you call an artesian well where the water comes up on top of the ground and, the, you know, it's kind of squirts up on top yeah. of the ground. That's rare, right? It's kind of rare. It's a high water pond and a, or a high land pond. You know, and so it's not at the foot of a hill; it's on top of a hill, and uh, and water comes up. And yeah. will you take the people that come to spiritual retreat there? Yeah, yeah, oh, we always fun. yeah we always yeah. go out in the woods. We go hiking. We check it out, and so uh, that's amazing. You guys got to come to my spiritual retreat right here in North Carolina at uh, my home and retreat center, and uh, you can also stay at uh, my bed and breakfast, which is in Star. Uh, if you go to starbedandbreakfast.com, dot com, you can check it out. It's really really neat. It looks like. Uh, uh, it, it kind of looks pretty. Gimped up Roots Carlton. Yeah, it looks like what you well, it kind of looks like <laughs> yeah. this a little bit, but better. <laughs> it even looks more gimped up in this place. Let's let's take some calls. If you'd like to call me right now and ask your question, you can call one eight hundred tap Gary. All right, Gary, I have an email from Kristen Oliver in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It says, "Hi, Gary. My eight year old daughter has been having trouble in school, specifically with reading, as well as focusing and paying attention in class." I have referrals to take her to see a neurologist to rule out any organic cause and a psychologist for ADHD testing. I don't want to medicate this bright light, but I don't know what else to do. Please help my daughter. From Kristen in Minneapolis, a longtime listener of yours on KDWB. You know, when I'm in Minneapolis, I do uh, a show on KDWB, which I've been doing since, I think, 1999. You know, 1996. 90, what? No, it's <laughs> 1999. Don't make me older. And so with Dave Bryan in the morning. And this, this is a really great show. And I enjoy doing the show. And, and uh, Dave just kind of lets me do whatever I, I feel like, which is uh, I'm able to, if I see a dark energy around somebody, I'm able to say it. Or uh, if somebody's medicating their kid uh, and I, I'm really, passionate. yeah, so passionate and so uh, about, about medicating kids. You know, I don't, I don't really think it's a good idea to give kids Prozac and, uh, you know, side effects, uh, suicide. What? You know, I mean, I mean, if you read the side effects and one of the side effects is, oh yeah, you may kill yourself. Yeah. That's, you know, that, that's kind of crazy. crazy. You know, I, I just kind of don't get it. And, um, uh, um, uh, and, and I, and I usually am able to look at these kids and, and a lot of these little kids that are being diagnosed with a attention deficit disorder or attention hyper deficit disorder. These kids basically are, are me when I was a kid, uh, I could see things and everything I could see angels. I could see demons. I could feel energy. I was an empath. Uh, if I was in the room with somebody disruptive, I would be disruptive. If I was in a room with somebody sad, I would go sad. These kids are just empathing whatever they're around. And I know I had wow. this one teacher. If I looked at this teacher, uh, I would get a headache. Really? Yeah. I mean, I would, I couldn't look at her. I would look at her and my eyes would hurt. And I was, my, I was in the third grade and, um, and she was a pretty aggressive teacher uh, in North Carolina back in those days. I remember I misspelled a word one time and she slapped me upside the head. <laughs> right? Whoa. <laughs> Boom. Where did that come from? You know? So, I mean, you can't imagine. Of course, today, you know, they put the teacher in jail for that. Yeah. And so, but in those days, it was totally okay to hit your kid in the head. She was obviously so possessed. And see, a lot of times you'll have teachers that are possessed as we all get possess possessed. We all have demons and dark energies. We all have angels and light energies. And, uh, but, but if you are a spiritually gifted kid, you're not going to even be able to look at a, at a teacher that's all possessed up, uh, you'll get a headache. And so, and many times also with spiritually gifted kids, when they look at someone for longer than maybe, you know, a minute. So if they're trying to look at a, t at a teacher, the room will go blurry and they won't even be able to see. Now you have that same thing, right? Jason, when you look at things, they yeah. blur out on you. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, like. 
where the lines at between like you know uh, daydreaming uh, yeah daydreaming a spiritual dimension you no know. no see when it blurs yeah. out on you you're actually starting to digest all the other energy around yeah uh what's the teacher up to is she happy is she sad does she sleep good does she have a dark energy messing with her yeah that's uh, does crazy she, does she have a health disorder i mean you'll go this through. sounds like yeah. it's very complicated, so I think we should call Kristen and help her out. Okay, but no, but you'll have all these would, things. I don't know as a parent how you'd figure that out. So well, you, well, that's yeah, the you problem. run out of options as a parent, right? And you're well, like, you, just give the kid a pill. Yeah, and yeah. so everything's not, the answer's not always a pill these days. And so everybody's like, yeah, give them a pill. Well, what it will do, you can sedate your child, but I, mean, I think it's, that's like darting your kid from across <laughs> the room. It's like, well, <laughs> let's you, know, give there Kristen, are, let, you know, let's give Kristen a call and see if we can help her out. All right. Hello? Hey, Kristen, how are you? It's Gary Spivey. Hi, Gary. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. What's going on? Good. You got some stuff going on with your daughter? Yeah, I do. She's been having some focus problems in school, and specifically, she's in second grade right now, and she's having problems with reading. Right. So she can she can hear okay, and it seems like she can um, comprehend fine, and she speaks fine. It's just that when she's reading, it's like, there's just like a processing issue or it's just like she's not connecting with what she's seeing here's what i'm reading you know it's not that her her mind is working too slow uh her mind is almost working too fast she actually uh, i don't know if you noticed that she can sort of assess things very quick have you ever caught that with her she can yeah she gets very it. quick very mm -hmm. quick she looks at it and she she can look at a room look around okay got it i mean she can it's hard to pull the wool over her eyes so to speak <laughs> so right yeah it would it be is. it would be hard to have a surprise birthday party for her. she'd have it, <laughs> the whole thing figured out you know she would right. find the gift here it is i knew she hit it over there you know yeah i, I mean she's that kid so i see that she's actually brilliant and that her mind works very very fast and she gets a little frustrated, and, and she's also somewhat spiritually gifted uh, with the way she's seeing things. Now, when she's reading, sometimes things will disappear, like the next word will disappear on the page. Yeah. Did she yeah. tell you that? She told you that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And, and so, so what happens is, um, if the word disappears, she can't read it, right? Right. And, mm -hmm. and, and so, so that's because spiritually gifted kids and a lot of kids are spiritually gifted these days uh when they stare at something very long like a like for a few minutes um the, it's kind of like the more she reads the worse she reads yeah exactly and, right and so because when she stares at it too long all the words will start to run together and disappear mm -hmm. and so everything will fog out on her i see her being very gifted and if she meditated a little bit she would understand dimensions See, she's able to see, believe it or not, all the way up to the heaven dimension. I'm going to clear away a few dark energies, and she's going to be able to focus more. Uh, okay. She has a weird thing with her feet. What's going on with her feet? Her feet are um, quite large, but she's in swim team. So, okay. Um, well, that's good if you got... competitively. Oh, okay. And so but she's got big feet, and she swims well. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, but she's, she's self-conscious a little bit of her feet, you know? And so I'm going to, I'm going to clear the dark energy away from there because I see her worried about her feet. I mean, that'll sound, that sounds kind of crazy, but believe it or not, that was draining about 30% of her energy. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. She does these leg kicks in school too, like their teacher was talking about. So when they're trying to get her to focus, what she's doing, she's actually kicking her legs up. Here. Oh, she's kicking. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. she's got nervous energy around her feet because she's self-conscious about them because maybe she thinks she wears too big of shoes or something. Oh. <laughs> I just cleared her feet. Her grounding energy was a little little off, and I, and I got rid of a couple of dark energies that were, were with her, and she gets really offended if people uh, hurt other people's feelings. Yes, yeah, she does. And she'll take up for them. She'll jump in it. But I, when I cleared her right then, I seen her go really, really bright. I got rid of a couple of dark energies. I think that'll help you. But I wouldn't medicate her. Well, we're at the point because she's not focusing where we take her to um, a neuropsychologist just for like testing and stuff because she is behind with her with her ability to read. Here's, so. what, I, here's what I see. If you work with her with reading just one on one, uh, and, okay. and I know you've probably done that. You know, yeah. but if you can do that with a tutor, not you, someone besides you, okay? Okay. Uh, you'll find that she'll do really great. Okay. And she won't get as distracted. But I cleared her energy now where her words won't blow. They won't blur out. 
So okay. you'll notice a difference. If you have her read tonight, you're gonna find okay. you're gonna find a very different kid. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Well, thank you. thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. It's such an honor. Yeah, thank you. And come to a retreat sometime. You'll have fun. Yes. Okay? I definitely will. Thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you, Bye. Kristen. We really appreciate you being part of the show. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Trevor. All right, you have a great, great evening. You too. Bye. Bye, Bye now. Tristan. That's why you created your new Gary Spivey private library, right? Well, yeah, in the private library, it has a lot of things that will just work for different people, you know, but with being a spiritually gifted kid myself, I was always able to see things, hear things, know things that I shouldn't know. And, uh, sometimes that would get me into trouble, you, you know, with family members, cause you know, it was really hard to keep secrets from me. And, uh, but, uh, but I could just, uh, see here, know, and this explains to you, what if, what do you do if, and so, so it explains for the kid how to how to do it but also it's a it's a learning thing for well, the parents a, yeah and and see a lot of times kids are floating into different dimensions and you can do a kids can do a little simple exercise and for you guys that are watching at home that that have this same problem with your your kid having attention deficit disorder in theory uh you can actually bring them back to this dimension by simply the, when he, when they find themselves floating around in the room going blurry or the next word on the page disappearing, uh, what you can do is you can point to something in the room, you know, like phone, and even touch it. Oh, like kind of ground you? It'll ground you. Oh, okay. What's going on is many times these, these disorders are not disorders at all, but they really are gifts. And it's hard for the teachers as well as it's hard for the parents because they don't understand the children. They don't understand what's going on with this little guy or little gal here. Uh, but I think that, that her girl's going to be okay in about a year. She'll quit doing any of that without pills. And I don't see any problems. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I was on, I was on Ritalin and in, in, in my later years, my early, you know, 18 to 21. And it completely messed me up. So wow. How did you feel when you were, you were taking Ritalin? When I was on Ritalin, I could do the most boringest task and it would be interesting to me. I would just work 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. Speed has that effect. Yeah, and I remember that's when I first started working for you. You said you got to get off this because it, it takes you well, out I of could, your present I, time. Yeah, I couldn't right. figure out why sometimes Travis would just not get things at all, you know, and, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? You know, and I, I would clear his energy, and he would still be messed up, and I couldn't figure out what that was. And I'm like, what is up with you? And uh, then one day he, I saw him taking a pill, and I'm like, what are you taking? And he's like, Ritalin? I got no wonder you're goofed <laughs> up and stupid with what you got going on here. You know, because he would, he would go off, uh, he, he would go off in, and, um, into his own sort of little space and, you know. I would uh, never be in the moment. Never be in the moment. Is that what it felt like, never being in the moment? Yeah, well, you know, like a bus is coming. Stay, yeah. You know, you stand in traffic and let the bus run over you. You okay. know, stuff like that. You know, I've you never would, heard that before. Yeah, because yeah. you're always sped up. So it's like, okay, you're, you're, well, if it's time to stand still, you keep running. Yeah, you right. it, it really takes you off your natural timing and takes you out of your truth. Mm -hmm. If you're not exactly in the center of the street on your vibe of truth, you have no spiritual gifts. That's how spiritual gifts work. Spiritual gifts work on the science of truth. And if you're not on the vibration of truth and you're taking uh, some sort of a drug, it actually takes you out of that. And so that's, that's what interesting. Happens. Yeah. So and that's the reason they can do their work a little better in this dimension because they have no sense of anything spiritual. If you have a spiritually gifted kid that may be diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, you want to teach your kid, and, it, and you're, there's never a too young of an age to teach your child how to clear their energy. Many times, your spiritually gifted child could clear their energy and yours. And so the, it, it's like they're so gifted, they can clear the whole classroom or the planet. And so uh, you want to teach your children how to meditate and clear their own energy, and many times they'll be able to focus uh, in an amazing way. Yeah, there's <laughs> the answer then. Teach the kids how to meditate. We'll be right back right after this. Hey guys, if you want a private reading with me in person, just me and you, you can call me up at 800-827-GARY and schedule some time. All right. Hey Gary, I got Michelle here on line two and she just wants to ask you some questions about removing negative energy okay. and past traumas. All right. Hey Michelle, how are you? Hi Gary. I'm really excited and a little nervous to talk to you. Oh no, don't be nervous. I'm the easiest person in the world to talk to. And so don't be nervous. And so you had some questions about removing some negative energies. What's your question? Um, my question is if you can help me remove or help give me assistance on how I can remove some negative energy. Um, I split from a relationship that was a great thing, but due to some past stuff came, came up. Right. And it's just left a real 
um, negativity between us, and it's not how I want things to kind of part. You almost have a hard time allowing things to be good when they're good. Does that make any sense? It does. I had a very uh, traumatic second marriage, and I think I was kind of a little bit triggered in, in my last relationship and to, because and you, of that. And you brought it forward. See, a lot of times that's what happens. We could end up going through a couple of bad relationships or a bad relationship, and then you'll end up in a good relationship, and then you'll kind of do the same things, and you'll bring those, because of all those traumas, you'll bring that same energy into your new deal. And so, uh, let me get rid of the old trauma of that relationship. Notice how your feet are warm. Can you feel that? I can, yeah. Okay. And now then, notice how your sinus is open and your head got light and your, bri- your eyes feel very bright suddenly. Feel that? I do, yeah. Okay. And now you feel light all the way down through your body, everywhere. Feel that? Yes, I can, I can feel myself. Okay. There we are. Now you're <laughs> back. You're back. Okay. I got rid of the, the old guy's uh, 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 trauma and drama. And so now then, watch this. Now think of the D guy. Can you even get him in your head? Look at that. Where'd he go? Oh, my gosh. You know, I had been having nightmares of him. Yeah, I know. Right. Right. See, all that was demon-led stuff, dark energy stuff. I got rid of all those traumas, the way they were embedded in you. There we go. There we go. Now look how warm you're feeling and you're smiling, right? I am. (laughs) Crazy, right? And so simple as that, honey, you're going to feel really, really, really good. Oh, Thank you, Gary. I very right. much appreciate it, and I, I continue to look forward to listening to you. Oh, good. Your inspiration. Oh, Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, tune in to Tapping In at GarySpivey.com every Sunday, uh, 5 o'clock Eastern, okay? See you soon. All right. All right. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your Bye-bye. call, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Tapping in with Gary Spivey will be right back after this short message. Make sure you pre-sign up for Gary Spivey's up-and-coming private library. Coming soon, spiritual solutions to your real-life problems. Only $9.95 a month. There you'll have exclusive access to all the archive video podcasts to watch whenever you want. The ability to download the audio to your phone or iPod. Gary Spivey's daily spiritual secrets, multiple weekly and video audio meditations, access to join Gary's weekly mass energy clearing. All of you can learn to meditate and clear your energy just like Gary. Because the spiritual dimensions are changing around so fast these days, it's become almost impossible to put all the current information in just one book. That's why Gary created a new online book exclusive to his private library. It's called Chapters from God, a spiritual book that never ends. This is a new way that Gary and co-author of Gary's first book, Secrets from God, Your Keys to Heaven, Dean Heimel, feel they can get you the most current information, releasing one to two new chapters every month. You'll also get special discounts to all Gary's events around the country. This is just some of the many things that will be available to you in Gary's constantly growing private library. Now, back to tapping in with Gary Spivey. Gary, Dean just actually handed me this email, and so I think we need to go to this immediately. It says, urgent request for Gary of tapping in. Someone that I care about very much was in a single car accident Hmm. in March. He hit a tree and didn't survive. I would like to know what happened and if now he is at peace. He left behind five amazing kids, and of course course, they are struggling with the loss of their dad. He was only 39. Wow. Can you wow. help that's us? Really find, sad. Yeah, can you help yeah. us find closure? Yeah, try to. All right, that's Deanna Perez and she's in Northern California. Let's uh, give okay. Deanna a call. Hello. Is Deanna there? Hi, it's Deanna. Hey Deanna, this is Travis with Tapping with Gary Spivey. Hi, Travis, how are you? Hey, we just got your email and I got Gary standing by, and so I want to just say, Hey Gary, here's Deanna. Oh, there we go. Deanna, it's Gary Spivey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. You lost a friend in, in, in an accident? I did. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. I have his daughter, Randy, with me. Oh, okay. And can Randy hear me? Yeah. Oh, Randy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I'm so sorry about your, your dad. And so did you guys want to get in touch with him on the other side? Is that what you were trying to do? Yeah. Let me see if I can find him over there. I see him. Uh, when I look at him, he's in transition. Uh, transition is a beautiful garden and uh so many times when people die wrong they'll hang out in there for a minute uh he's laughing he says uh uh his head's not as hard as what he thought it was was he a joker yeah okay did he hit his head real hard yeah yeah and so he's making jokes in heaven uh he he says when they got there he he said they asked him what he would like and he wanted a cool car so he has a really cool car that's there with him 
And so, what's the cool car? What what did he did he like cars? He thought he was like a race car driver. So yeah, he really really enjoyed cars. Oh, what? he was a race car driver? No, he thought he thought he was. Oh, he thought he was a race car driver. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, he's making jokes and he says that in heaven they're spoiling him already. Uh, he tells me to tell you that he came to you uh, at night. When did you see him or did you feel him? Did he come to you at night? What's he talking about? Yeah, I saw him. Um, when I woke up sitting in my chair. Wow. Yeah. Because he said that was really me. Uh, he said they gave him a hall pass. He, he's just a joker. Everything that comes out of his mouth, he's joking. Well, he says you saw him because he was really there. Uh, and he says, uh, don't be afraid. Don't let it scare you. And he said he'll come to, come to see you more. Is that okay? Yeah. And so he just now grabbed your hand. Feel your hand get warm? Yeah. He says he, he's that close in to you guys. Uh, he tells me to tell you thank you, thank you, and, and he's saying leave it up to you to figure out a way to call me up here. <laughs> he, he thinks that's pretty cool, and so he said he didn't mean to go anywhere. Uh, he he just he said it happened so quick. What we are wondering is like something happened that caused it. I'm asking him right now, and he says he he says he he hits himself in the head like duh, you know, like this. But he says, I fell asleep. So he just went to sleep. Was it was it in the morning or night or when was it? It was in the morning. Early, it was like maybe nine. Okay. He fell asleep. It was weird. You know, I just, I just he, and he actually, nobody really knows this, I don't think, but maybe they, maybe you do. Uh, I can just psychically tell you, I think he had sleep apnea, which is a sleep disorder. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Did, did you know he had that? No, I just know he had a really hard time sleeping, trouble sleeping, had a lot of pain. Okay, because he didn't sleep, he had sleep apnea, Did he, and he snored, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, many times when people have sleep apnea, they snore really badly, but I don't think he ever went into a really deep sleep, and so um, that's what happened. He just fell asleep. He He's telling me, please don't be sad, please don't worry, no, I'm getting spoiled up here, but he says he loves you, he loves you. And he, t- he says both of you guys, he, he thanks you both and loves you. And uh, he said he'll come to see you more, if that's okay. Of course it is. Oh, okay. He just says he loves you. And he put his arm around your neck. And he's right there with you guys. That's crazy. You guys Are you guys in the car? Is that where you are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he, he shows me he's in the car. And so that's, that's crazy. But he just keeps on saying he loves you over and over and over. Okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. I'm so sorry, but he's good. Okay. He blows you a kiss. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. I like him. I like him. Wow. What a nice guy. Yeah. That was that was a cool call. He was was, like a joker. He was like coming up with one liners, you know. And so the race car thing cracked me up. (laughs) Right. Yeah. (laughs) She's like, no. He thought he was a race car driver. (laughs) Yeah. No. Yeah, it seemed real lighthearted. It seemed like you were talking directly to him. I, I was. Mean, you know, know everything about that guy. Well, well, he was he was fun. He was funny. And and let me take you you take your personality with you to heaven. It's not <laughs> like you get to heaven you okay, I'm an angel. <laughs> so, yeah. It's not like that. No, you actually if you had a, a funny, great if personality. You don't like your personality. <laughs> well, maybe you can ask for another one, you know, but you know, well, it's, it's kind of like, sometimes I, I talk to people on the other side and I get there and I go, I have your daughter and they would like to speak to you. And they just kind of shake their head and I go, um, so your mom wasn't very talkative, was she? And they're like, no, she barely spoke. I'm like, well, I'm having the same issue. <laughs> no, because they, yeah, people that have whatever their personality is here will have the same personality on the other side. It's that time of year again. Time for Gary Spivey's North Carolina Spiritual Retreat at his home and spiritual retreat center and gardens. This experience will change your life forever. Sign up at GarySpivey.com or just call 1-800-827-4279 to reserve your spot now before it's all sold out. Now back to tapping in with Gary Spivey. Hey, hey Gary, we got Tree on line four with okay. a cor- with a uh, question about her career and her career path and where it's going. Okay. All right. Great. Where's she calling from, Jason? She's calling from Las Vegas. Oh, I wish I was there right now, but I'm in beautiful star. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tree, it's Gary Spivey. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good, girl, good. And so you got a question about your job? Yeah, well, actually, I'm unemployed as of right now. I wanted to kind of see um, where do you see my career path going. I've been putting in application after application, but it's like a dead end. <laughs> right. Have Have you put in applications on at two places that you used to work, or you or do you know somebody there? Yeah, I have. I have. And so it's a place where you know someone, or you had worked there before. And but it looks like that you'll get a a job 
It looks like within a week. So, oh, wow. so I feel like within about a week. And so notice how your feet got tingly right then. Your hands are warm. <laughs> you feel that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. See, that just means I spoke the truth. So I see you getting. Okay. A, I see you getting a job in about a week, and you got somebody around you aggravating you to death. Who's driving you crazy? My husband. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. He, you can. You know, if you're supposed to turn right, he'll tell you to turn left every time. Is exactly. That, it's right? like, oh my God. Yeah. He's got the exact, he's got, he's backwards in his body. And so oh, when people have okay. that going on, they're totally indifferent and they'll make mm-hmm. exactly the wrong decision at exactly the right time. That's who he is, right? Yeah. That, that's exactly who he is. Yeah, and I'd be having to holler and scream like, oh my God. <laughs> right. You want me to straighten him up so you don't have to do that? Yes. Oh, he is backwards in his body. When I look at him, his head is turned backwards on his head. If he looked, oh, if he okay. was, if he looked down, he'd see his backside. I mean, his like his head's on backwards. Okay, and so, oh, okay. so sometimes people's spirit gets in their body backwards, and it'll cause. Uh-huh. I call it the indifference. You know, it makes them indifferent. And so there we go. I just pulled him out and put him back in. And so now okay. then, notice how you feel kind of warm in your face. Feel that. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's feeling warm in his face because for the first time in his life, he's not backwards. <laughs> okay, <God. laughs> and so this poor guy has to work ten times harder to to have something good happen. Makes sense. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he really, really does. Yes. Yeah, and you love him, but you feel sorry for him, and you almost want to go, you poor pathetic thing. What's wrong with yes. you? Get it right. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> yes. Makes sense to you. Exactly. Hit it on the head, Gary. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate you, and good luck with that husband now. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Okay. <laughs> Have right. a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for your call, Tree. Bye. She's fun. I appreciate you guys watching, hanging out with us. I, I really appreciate all the questions, all the comments, all the stuff on Facebook and on Twitter. And, uh, you know, I love answering your questions every week. And uh, remember, this is a show that gives you spiritual solutions to your real life problems. And and to all you guys watching, do us the biggest favor. If you can share this show with all your social media friends, that'd be great. Because without you guys, there is no show. So That's right. Uh, That's the only Gary, way we could keep this Gary, thing going. What are you doing? He's crazy. Channel time. We leave you tonight with one final meditation, Meditating in Nature with Gary Spivey. Many times when I go out to do a Native American meditation at night, um, you know, out here under the stars, I just look up and I'll, I'll see something that is very meaningful, like uh, this big moon. And, and it makes me aware that our Native American brothers, uh, that's what they were doing. They were looking up, they were seeing the elements, they were out in nature, and everything meant something. So. Uh, check out this moon. I think it's amazing. The one thing that our Native American brothers were always about was being in the moment. That's how they survived. They had to be in the moment. They had to be aware of their elements. They had to be aware of what's around them. Since I can see them uh, in the spiritual dimension, I, I've learned a lot of a lot of things that just really is great common sense. But uh, I'll show you. Let's go see. Wow, you got a great fire, Travis. This is an energy vortex that I created here, and uh, you can actually create any energy vortex you want at your house. You don't have to build a big fire pit to do it. You can just actually sit, meditate in your garden, meditate on your patio, uh, but you, wherever you are, you can actually create a, a place of light, and you just simply allow the light in, do it over and over and over, and you'll find that this will create a very positive spiral of light. And then even on the bad days, when you go walking out, your spot, your meditation spot, your energy vortex on your property, wherever you live, uh, you could be in the city, you could be in the country, doesn't really matter, you're gonna find, it'll find you. Not only can you find it, it'll find you. In your mind's eye, just imagine all the dark energies, all the evil, all the, any kind of negativity that's around you, imagine it just burning up in the fire. And so, um, as I saw that, I, I realized that if you just take anything that will burn up, here, Travis, you need one of these. <laughs> I do. There we go. And so, okay. there we are. And so, and, well, yeah, this is, our, this, is, this is our snake. You pull the snake from around your neck, okay, from around your neck, 
and throw all throw it into the fire. And as you throw it into the fire, you see all the evil and all the dark energies just burn away. Let them go. Let them go. And you want to let them go. The way you let dark energies leave you is you you shoo them out. You just shoo them out of your body. So take your hands and just kind of shoo all the dark energies out of your body and allow the light to come down from above and fill you full of light. Also appreciate nature, appreciate the trees, all the element of being outside. You don't have to do anything except just allow. And remember guys, here's how you allow. That's allowing. You do nothing. I think the biggest thing is if you could just explain to people how to find that stillness, that moment of stillness where well, that's everything what... is just perfect. And that's what people need to find.